Okay, we're parked out here at the west side of the property. Uh, so as we look north on the easement road, that's the property on the right side of the road. The map is showing that this is tracked 19. Um, I've been excited to do this, this video um, because although I've never really explored tracked 19, I had, uh, I had driven by it a couple times and it looks like it's just loaded with beautiful cedar trees. I love cedar trees, some pine trees as well. Um, everything out here at, at Hawk's Roost um, was logged uh, fairly recently. Some of the tracks more heavily than others, but this track to 19 looks really, really good. Uh, hundreds of nice mature cedar trees on the property. One of the guys is out here working today with the skid loader. That's why that truck is parked there. Let's hop out and take a look. Uh, track 19 borders the, the private road along its uh, west side, its north side, and then a separate, um, separate but equal private road on its east side. So take a look at the map to, to see what we mean about that. You can actually hear the skid loader off in the distance. We've got a few cedar trees that look like they were probably pushed over in order to widen this road. You can see one there couple up there but I mean this is just beautiful thick uh, lush <laughs> cedar trees there's something so cool about a cedar thicket I mean that's a large cedar tree that's 12 14 inches in diameter and I can see a lot of them once the property's been paid for in full you'd be welcome to harvest these cedars if you wanted to um, cedar is quite valuable from what I'm told. Uh, it's really cool to, to uh, if you just buy like a router and a router cable from Harbor Freight for a hundred bucks, you can make your own trim. We've made pine trim before. Um, I had a buddy who did a bunch of cedar trim and it was gorgeous. He, he would line his closets with it and then they would smell uh, with that aromatic cedar. As I look through the, the uh, as I look at the screen on the camera, it's always tough taking photos and videos in a cedar, a cedar glen or glade or whatnot because of the nature of the trees, they kind of look dead in the photos. <laughs> the lower part of cedars basically don't have uh, very many needles at all. It's toward the upper part that you've got the, the nice green um, needles. But here on the ground, uh, especially in the video, like I said, it almost looks like they're dead, but they're not. <laughs> These are happy, healthy cedar trees. We'll do the drone video as well today, and then we'll put that uh, put that on the listing page so you can see that. And that'll be really helpful in checking out this property. We'll probably see the uh, skid loader hard at work in the drone video, actually. I happen to, to like cedar trees because uh, I just think they're really pretty ar around a building site. Um, this looks basically level, maybe a little bit of a slope going up as you look to the south. Check out the topo map to, to see how it's situated, and the drone video should be helpful as well with that. But for a place to put a small cabin or a home or a site for your, for your camp, for a campsite, uh, this looks like a really solid property. We're not far at all off the county road, so you've got good access here. Again, the land is on the right as we look toward the north. And just off a few hundred feet in the distance would be the county road. So super private out here, uh, really nice tract, quite a bit of timber on the property. Definitely one of the nicer ones at Hawks Roost as far as timber. Feel free to email us at sales at instantacres.com or check out our website at instantacres.com. If this property is available, it will be on the website. Give us a call in the office if you'd like at 417-882, uh, I forgot the number for a second, 417-882-3400, and we'll be uh, happy to discuss this property with you or, or any property that we have available. instantacres.com.